Hi there. In this video, we are going to look at the DCMA reports that are included in Steelray Project Analyzer. So the first thing we need to do is click on reports to look at the report gallery. And you can see on the third row, there are three that are related to either DCMA 14 point assessment or the DCMA EVAS. So I'm going to click on the DCMA 14 point assessment, add it, and then I'm going to hit the back button. Maybe you didn't know about this, but Analyzer works a little bit like a web browser. So I can click back. I'm going to add the second configurable 14 point assessment. And I'll explain what these are in a minute. And finally, the third DCMA report, the DCMA EVAS. Okay, so now I've got all three reports. You can see them loaded here. What is the difference between the three of them? So the first one is the original DCMA 14 point assessment. And we have DCMA in front of that name because this is their specification to a T. Their formulas, their thresholds. If I click on it, you can see that there are very few settings for the report itself, mostly around the metric number eight and the detail period. I'm not going to select any, actually I'll select no detail period. But if you wanted to specify either a six month starting at the status date or your own start date, you can do that here. The second one is almost identical. It's called the 14 point assessment. We dropped the DCMA and the reason is because it uses the same 14 point criteria, except we allow you to change those thresholds and settings around those checks. And so it is not the official DCMA 14 point assessment, but if you think that you would like to tweak it, we provide the ability to do that. And the third one is DCMA EVAS, and that is the newer next generation set of checks. They are the, the spec, which this is based off of, uh, is covers both cost and schedule. We in Analyzer only look at the schedule part of those checks. Okay, so let's pick a project, which I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to select all three of those reports and click Analyze. And you can see this is a good chance actually to see Analyzer working in batch mode. So it's taking that one project file and it ran three reports pretty quickly and it has created them here. And to see a report, I would simply click on the link. Okay, so the, the report has two main parts to it. The first part is a scorecard, and it looks a little bit like our regular scorecard report. If you click on a, the name of a, of a check, it gives you a little bit of help and a score, and we color code the score for you. If you click on matched, it will take you into the four tasks in that project file that were missing logic in this case. So it's a very quick way to jump into the schedule and see what the DCMA check uh, actually caught. Then you have a color indicator, green or red, I believe. I don't think there's a yellow here. The actual score that we got, and then the ideal goal, what you are shooting for. So that is the DCMA 14 point assessment. The 14 point assessment looks, let me hit back. The 14 point assessment looks very similar. In fact, uh, because I haven't adjusted any of the criteria, it is exactly the same thing. So you can see that here. And then the EVAS report also looks similar, except this time, instead of, let me hit back, this time, uh, it will show you the checks that come from the specification. So same thing though, if I were to click lags, for instance, 
It explains what this check is for and gives you a score. And the link down here will also take you into Microsoft Project and show you those activities that have relationships with lags. So that, in a nutshell, are the three DCMA reports that are included in Project Analyzer. Thanks for watching.